Welcome back in this next video about iOS reverse engineering. In this video I will focus on decompiling the app. So in the previous video we focused on extracting an IPA file from an iOS device and we already know that an IPA file is just an Argive file where you can unzip this folder as we can see in the screenshot. So there's a payload folder with some app resources and also one binary. And then you can use tools like Ghidra or Radara2 to load this binary and do some reverse engineering. So in the next video I will demonstrate this part. But in this video I will focus on some static analysis using some other tools like IPSW. I will show this in a minute. But what we can do with this tool is for example make a class dump. So give a list of all the classes which can be Objective-C or Swift. So this is the main goal of this video to extract all the application code from a binary. So what is the binary? The binary can be the executable of the app or it can be a dynamic library loaded in the app or it can also be a kernel extension file. But I will mainly focus on the first one, the main executable of the app. And the format of this binary is MacO, matching the architecture of iOS and macOS. So to refresh this a little bit from the architecture, MacO is the object file format related to the Mac kernel. So this is a BSD based Unix kernel which is used on macOS and iOS. So every binary you run on macOS on iOS is a so-called Mac binary with specific signature, etc. So this is just good to remember. So the specific tools we are using are related to this type of binary. Then I want to move on with some tools for reverse engineering. So also the Apple Wiki is a very good resource for all kinds of information about Apple. So if we start with the reverse engineering tools and static analysis, then there is a tool called IPSW developed by Blacktop, which is also a very nice tool which can do almost everything for reverse engineering. So in this video I will also demonstrate this tool, but there are also a lot of other tools like Ktool for example, it's also a command line tool or a tool to just dump the headers. So there are a lot of tools available and also there are some decryption tools which are specific to decrypt binaries and also disassemblers, but we will cover this part in the next video. So Ida, Hopper and Ghidra are for example disassemblers. You can also use those tools to load the binary. But for now I want to focus on this tool called IPSW. If you go to the GitHub page of this tool, you can go to getting started and then there are guides with a lot of options. You can also search. So for example, I want to do something with a plist file, then you have this information. So let's go back to my VM. So in the previous video we extracted this application from the device. So this IPA is already showing as a zip file. So I extracted the contents of this zip file to this directory. Then we have the payload folder, then the app folder. And inside the app folder there are the real application files. So some resources, directories. And there's also a binary which usually has the same name as the app. So this is the binary. So this should be a MacO binary and in case you don't know the name of the binary or you want to get more information. We have this plist file. This plist file is not really readable. And then we can do IPSW plist and then the name info.plist. And then we can read this file. But we can also do a grab inside this plist. And then we can see the bundle executable is called Demfernable iOS v2. So this is the Mac O binary we want to analyze. Then we can go back to the documentation of this tool. And the next interesting thing I want to check out is Mac O info. And with this Mac O info command, you can get all kinds of info for a binary. So we can use this for the app binary. So Mac O info and then also the binary name. This will give you a lot of interesting information. So for example about the architecture, so it's ARM ARC64 architecture, also something about memory, Objective-C, Swift, etc. And also which libraries and frameworks are loaded, so which dynamic library files are loaded by this application. And I also downloaded this Threads application for example, so from Instagram. I can also do the same for this application. And then you might also notice some side-loaded bypass dynamic libraries are loaded. So this is already a tweaked application. So you have to be careful because I just downloaded it from some mirror site. So maybe they are adding some malware. But in this case, I assume they just added some libraries to enable side loading or that kind of stuff. And if we check out the other option, you can print the strings, symbols, Swift information, etc. 
So let's try minus minus Swift, and then it will give you all the Swift code used in the application. And in this Furnable application, we got some classes containing jailbreak. So I can do a grab on the word jailbreak, for example. And then also you get all the Swift classes containing jailbreak. And the same thing you can do also for Objective-C. And if you follow the workbook for decompiling the app, we also use this IPSW and then we do a class dump and we do a Swift dump. And then you can also demangle the Swift classes so you make them more readable. So let's also try this. So IPSW class dump. So this will give you all the classes. You can save this output to a file and then for example, use it for further analysis. Or you can also search in it. So you can do it manually with grep or you can also use the other comments to be more specific. But for example, I want to do a class dump and then also grab for jailbreak. And the other one was Swift dump. Then you get the matching Swift methods. So those are just some examples of this tool. You can also do a lot of other things with this tool. You can even patch a binary. You can connect to a device over USB. And then you can also do all kinds of file operations like you can see here. You can even dump the network traffic or list all the applications. So this tool is really extensive. So I would definitely recommend you to look into those, this tool. But for now, I want to focus on the binary analysis. So with this tool, you can do a lot with the Mac O binary. So you can also see all those comments, for example. You can also disassemble a binary. But for now, we want to focus on the decompilation of an app. So mainly the class dump and the Swift dump we need. So please follow this workbook to create a class dump and a Swift dump file. And there's also one best script, which can do both steps at once and save them to an output directory. So please follow this workbook. And then we will continue with the next step, analyzing the output. So I hope to see you in the next video.